If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use Cold Wolf for 10% off. In today's video, we are going to talk about a run play that you can use against the 335 odd LB cross. Now, this play, this run play was not found by me. It was found by Young Drini, who is a competitive Madden player. I will put a link to his channel in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the play. Now, I haven't labbed the defense aspect of trying to stop the play. So we're going to do that live in this video. We're going to try to figure this out together try to do something new. But we're going to show you his play that he found from the run heavy playbook and see just how dominant it is against this defense. Now, before we get into this, man, drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for more content. Also, uh, I post, you know, when I make videos like this and I don't have gameplay, people always saying, man, where's the gameplay? Ah, oh, this ain't, this don't work. There's no gameplay. But then I post gameplay and people are like, what is this? Where's the play behind it? Like, I, I don't get it, man. So like, you know, just stick around for the channel. You'll see the gameplay of me using everything I show you. Then you'll see the tutorials. You know, if you keep up with the channel, you're going to know everything that's going on on the channel. So for those that support me, man, and know what's going on, man, shout out to you guys. Uh, if you want to join the squad, man, just uh, subscribe and, you know, keep updated with the videos that I drop. Now, we're in the run heavy playbook and the name of the run play that Young Drini is telling us to use against the crossfire or the cross LB cross is the halfback toss. Now, if we come over here on defense and we come to 335 odd, we're going to come to the LB cross three show two. Now, this is the player on the run right here. Now, the player at the beginning will be this way. What you want to do is click the right stick to the left and make the toss go to the left. So if we run this just the way it is, you're going to see that this play is is pretty good. So let's go ahead and do something different on defense. Let's just base a line. OK, and we'll set it up like normal people do, you know, the way they set up there. LB cross or whatever and I'll come back down to the line and then I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna try to run this ball and my sticks are horrible bro I'm telling you guys right now so the run play itself is really good I can already tell you that this play it is pretty good look at this we just getting out there bro we're just getting out there so you may see this in the competitive scene coming you know that are upcoming all the live streams and stuff because I'm sure there's people using this already now this is in the run heavy playbook and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this run play that Young Dream provided everybody uh, on his YouTube channel. Like I said, I'll post the link in the description. Look at this. This is actually pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie. So what we'll do is we'll take this run play uh, and then we're going to go over on the defense side and we're going to try to stop it ourselves. Okay, we're going to try to do things. I already have a, a good idea of how I would stop it just by looking at my defensive alignments. Uh, and then what we'll do is tomorrow I'll drop you guys a couple pass plays so you can scheme up the single back trio if you want to use the run heavy playbook online because you do come across a lot of people that run LB cross when you get to the higher levels. You know what I'm saying? When you get to the higher levels of Madden uh, playing online, uh, you're going to come across people that are just running this defense. So the play stock, it's awesome. Okay. One problem I do see with this right here is my LB cross is not flipped. OK, and that extra linebacker to the to the right could make a difference in this play. OK, so this is what we'll do here. We're, we're just we're still going to still run the toss, still getting me some good yards. So still good yards. So the first tip that I can share with you guys about this play right here is that your three, three, five odd your linebacker. You see the linebacker to the right of the screen, the one that's included with the D line. Like what I mean by that is if I press LB twice on defense, uh, our linebacker, which is Fowler is included. So whatever I do with the D line, he's included. Okay. So I can actually take him off his purple by just simply crashing the D line. You see how he's involved. Now, one thing that I do recommend to you guys as well is, you know, if I'm not making adjustments, this play is deadly. Like right there, that's just me being horrible. I, I probably could have did something different. A lot of it, some of it has to do with your stick work, bro. Let's just be honest, okay? Look at me. It's just horrible, okay? I've never been a good juker and stuff like that. I've told you guys since Madden 15. Uh, shout out to Captain Spacely. That guy was the best juker in the game. So, the first thing that I see on defense that could work to my advantage is the linebacker. And what I mean by that is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run my 335 flipped. Okay, I'm going to match. And, and the best way to tell this, let me go ahead and try and explain this to you guys. 
Uh, the single back trio is the name of the play, the toss. And what I mean by this is, if we look at the LB cross, you see the yellow, you wanna make sure the guy that's on the yellow is going to be on the side of the run of the pitch of where he's trying to go so in this case we're throwing the pitch left we want to make sure actually you know what another thing is another thing you guys need to do here is uh you need to come through your 335 out and put some fast people out there okay we need people to actually get there uh to the edge uh let me go ahead and put harrison there okay so that's the first thing first tip to stop this play is you're gonna need fast people there okay so let me come back and what I mean by this is if you see the yellow, you see the guy on the yellow on the play art, you want to make sure that he's on the side of the toss. And the only reason we're doing that is because of the linebacker. You see where this linebacker is now, Fowler? He's on this side now. Now he's on the side of the toss. So just him alone could be enough. If you can get the shed just right, could be enough to help you stop this play just using the play stock. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. You see what I'm saying? So that's already a tip for you guys. Now, will it work all the time? I don't know. If we keep running this consistently, let me see. Okay, no, it's not gonna work all the time, but it's leverage. What we're trying to do is get the leverage on defense uh, to try to stop this run play. So that is the first thing. Let's see how many times we get the, so, okay, right there. He's, he's getting picked up and this is just yards already, bro. Look, this is a, this is a TD. So you can't really rely on him, but he's an added bonus. Now, let's go ahead and let's set up like we do for everything else. We're gonna set up everything uh, the way I would run it online, like as if I'm blitzing, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the AI run it himself. Now, what I do recommend you do is also using this linebacker, okay? If you know he's gonna toss it left, using this linebacker and just running parallel running in a straight line sideways. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean. So this may have to do, before they pick you up, you wanna run this way and then close down on the guy and try to prevent him from getting a lot of yards. As you can see right there, that helps a little bit as well. So I'm thinking that QB contains help. So the guy on the QB contain could help you. We're gonna bring this guy over here, bring this guy down just in case he keeps the toss uh, to the right. We'll have the numbers to the right. Uh, another thing I recommend is just bringing this guy over here. He's not going to help you really if, if you think about it. Uh, and then maybe crash our line left. Okay, let, let's just try that. And what we're gonna do is just run straight to the side this way. And we're gonna come down. So that's a good, what, two to three yards. So that is a bonus right there. Leaving the play stock could help you in this play because of this guy getting the shed, but he's not gonna get it all the time. As you can see that the offensive line for the Dallas Cowboys is really good so the run play in itself is good it's going to require defensive adjustments for you to stop it so now let's look at some advanced techniques that we can do to try to stop this play okay so if i move it to the left what i'm going to do is i'm going to baseline put some clouds i'm going to shift my linebackers to the left next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take davis and i'm going to man him up on the outside wide receiver and then i'm going to man myself up to the Y wide receiver. So X and Y, X and Y. You're gonna man up this guy to the outside wide receiver and this guy to the to the to Hearns, which is the Y route. Okay. The reason for that is we're gonna get a little boost. We're gonna get a little boost when the ball is snapped to run sideways. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this guy down here. I'm gonna bring this guy down here just in case. Shift my D line left and then crash them left like this. Okay. This is our play right here. This should help us. As we're in man defense, actually, it's not that great. You know what I'm saying? It's not that great. So manning up and stuff like that doesn't really help. Like I said, the run play is good. Uh, let's just be honest, okay? But I'm thinking that we should leave our defenders in QB contains, to be honest with you. We should leave them in QB contains like this. Next thing I would do is I would take this linebacker, okay? And I would take him off his blitz. Take him off his blitz so he goes this way. Uh, bring this guy down this way Bring charge down and then I would just run uh, parallel Actually, that's my mistake because I didn't put myself on the man You're gonna have to put yourself on man defense, bro. My controller batteries are low I'm trying to get rid of this video as soon as possible uh, Get it done So stock 
it, it, you're not gonna do nothing against this play. It, it is a very good run play as we're trying to we're trying to find the right way to do it. Um, what we can do is blitz Gibson. You take Davis, put him on a blue just in case it is a pass. So we have something like this. We'll bring this guy out. Bring this guy out. Crash everybody left. Let's see if that helps. Helps a little bit, but not really because the user would just take the running back and run all the way to the outside. So another adjustment we can try is base lining, moving the D-line left, crashing left, make sure you're making sure your linebackers are shifted, uh, manning up this guy to, to B, and then manning up Fowler to the running back himself, okay? And then manning yourself up to anybody on the left side because you're the user. This could be another way you could try to stop it. Um, you could put this guy on a blue, which is, uh, let me see. We're, we're, we're doing this in real time as well. I'm trying to figure this out with you guys. We're gonna put him on a blue like this. And let's see if we get a different effect. Here we go. No, we don't. He still has like a one-on-one -on -one that he could beat. This guy could actually, I think our first setup was probably the best, bro. I think that was going to be the best uh, that we could get right there. And me just manning myself up to B and then just running sideways. Running sideways and then coming down. So it's gonna have to do a lot with your user. This is gonna be something that you're going to have to stop. Now, another thing we can do, actually that's my fault. Let me go ahead. Well, let's just run it right. Let's just run it right. Let's see what happens, right? I actually have an idea. I actually have an idea that this is a good run play. I have an idea. Let's try this real quick. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. The video may be kind of long because we're trying to figure this out together. I'm trying to do something new for you guys so you guys can see how I'm coming to, how I come across things and try to beat them. A uh, nickel 335 odd, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep the LB cross three show two. Now, there is a trick with this right here. And the trick is not flipping the play until you come out of the huddle, okay? So flip the play when you come out of the huddle. This may not make any sense to you guys, but trust me, it will. And let's see what we get here. Yeah, I think I think that's that's the way. So flipping the play when you come out of the huddle gives you that extra block shed. It, it it's something that I figured out a, a while back in Madden. There's different glitches that work in this game, bro. Okay. So if you come out in 335 out regular and then flip it when you when you're out on the field, right? It don't make any adjustments. If I flip it right now and don't make any adjustments, okay? There's a there's a there's a block shedding glitch that happens in Madden. It didn't happen right there because maybe I took too long. Maybe I took too long to flip the play. But what I do recommend is you flipping the play when you come out onto the field, okay? Make sure you're watching your zones because sometimes they get crossed. You don't want to get and then putting yourself on a man defense so you don't go on a blitz. So you're actually going left. Okay. And then you should get that. You should get that 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 it feels like you could stop the run a little bit better. I don't know. It's weird, man. I, I know I've been using this technique since Madden 17. So let's go ahead and run it this way. You're going to see that he gets that instant block shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So but <laughs> this guy's still gonna run for a TD. So you see that block shed that I'm getting right there by flipping while I'm on the field. Flipping the play while I'm on the field to get this guy on the same side as the running back, okay? And then just manning myself up so I can get that boost. Sounds dumb, I know it does, but you can see right now that it's working. So that's another way that you can try to stop this run play. The play is good, okay? But if we flip the play while we're on the field and you see these guys crossing each other, and then manning myself up to, I'm gonna, I guess B's fine, cause I'm running sideways. And then I'm gonna, if, if the block shed doesn't happen, like it didn't right there, cause I took too long, this would be a real, real game setting right here, okay? If, if the block shed don't happen, then I'm there to the, to, to that side, as you can see right there. Now I'm there, you know what I'm saying? So that could be a way that you could stop it. Do not flip your LB cross until you're on the field. 
then flip it, okay? And then man yourself up to somebody because if you don't man yourself up, number 70 is going to come and block you fast. He's looking for you. And you see the instant block shit by flipping your play when you're on the field. So that is the way to stop this run play. It's a glitch, it's a bug, but I mean, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. You see it right here in real time. It's gonna work the same online because people run LB cross flipped anyway. But the problem is, is you're not gonna get the shed unless you flip it when you're on the field. Flip LB cross when you're on the field and you should be good to go. Make sure you guys drop a like. Make sure you go check out Young Drini's uh, channel because he does drop some really good information. He is a competitive player, man. Uh, any other pro players that are doing YouTube that were on Twitch, uh, want to feature on my channel, man, just let me know uh, and we can get that going so you guys can start building your YouTubes. Love you guys, man. Peace.